What's up my friends, welcome back to the channel. Here's the deal today. I have recipes for DIY chartreuse for both the green and the yellow. And I really wanna share them with you, but not today because I still miss one ingredient, the secret ingredient. According to a book that I read a few years ago that was published in 1973, the author claimed that he found what was the unique, the secret ingredient in chartreuse, the one that the monks kept from everyone, which is, I'm gonna keep it secret from you as well, actually, until I get some, which shouldn't be that long, and then I'm gonna share the recipe and the secret ingredient in a new video. But this week, I wanted to make a herbal liquor still, so I made this instead, which is kind of similar in color than the green chartreuse, but in terms of taste, it is different. It's a herbal liquor based on pandan leaves. I had some leftover from my previous video, the Meanwhile in Bali, which was a very nice riff on the daiquiri using pandan syrup. So I used my leftover to make this herbal liquor and it turned out really good. I used this instead of that in many cocktails that asked for green chartreuse and the result was fantastic. So I would really love you to try the liquor and to motivate you to do so, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna link an empty cocktail template in the description down below so you can download it, create a cocktail of your own using the herbal liquor, send it back to me, and in a few weeks from now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna share our favorite recipes in a new video. The only thing that I ask you for your submission is to take a photo of your cocktail. It can be an iPhone photo, I don't care. The only thing that I ask is for you to add a pendant leaf in the photo. So that way, that's kind of gonna be my proof that you really bought some pandan and made the herbal liquor. So guys, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We're gonna make an herbal liquor together right now. So for the ingredients today, guys, we're gonna need 250 ml of white overproof Jamaican rum. Today I'm using Ray and Nephew, and I chose it for two reasons. First one, the IABV. Because of it, we're gonna be able to extract easily all the flavors and deliciousness from the ingredients. Also, because the ABV is higher than the one from the green chartreuse, when we're gonna add the sugar in, we're gonna reach the same level of alcohol. Then, I simply love the taste of this rum in the recipe. I think the funkiness of the Jamaican rum goes really well with the exotic flair of the pandan leaves. So now, for the herbs and botanicals, here's what we're gonna need. 20 grams of fresh pandan leaves, 0.75 grams of dried hyssop, 2 grams of mace, 2 cloves, 1 gram of licorice root, 1.5 grams of star anise, 1 gram of angelica root, 0.3 grams of cinnamon, 0.5 grams of dried thyme, 1 bay leaf, and one gram of Rickless Mint Alcohol. Obviously, everything will be written in the description down below, but if you prefer to take a screenshot, it's the time. So now, in a large glass sealable container, you're gonna pour your rum, add all the other ingredients, close the lid, give it a little shake, and let that infuse at room temperature for 48 hours. After 48 hours, you're gonna strain the liquid through a coffee filter. And because of the infusion, you will lose some of the liquid. What you need to do is to measure 200 ml of the infusion. And to that, you're gonna add 50 grams of granulated sugar. This way, we're gonna have a 55 ABV liquor with pretty much the same amount of sugar than the green chartreuse. So you're gonna stir that mixture until all the sugar is dissolved. You can bottle it up. And this is how we make my pandan green chartreuse imitation. If you can't get the Rickless Mint out well, guys, it's not a big deal. You can still make the liquor using fresh mint, but the process will be a little bit different, and I'm gonna write it all down in the description down below. But now, let's try this liquor into a cocktail. We're gonna make a riff on the Hotel Nacional. First, in a cocktail shaker, we're gonna add one ounce and a half or 45 ml of light rum, half an ounce of our pandan liquor, one ounce of freshly pressed pineapple juice, half an ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice, and one bar spoon of pineapple gum syrup. I'm gonna fill the shaker with ice and give it a good shake for about 10 seconds. Then we're gonna fine strain it into a cocktail coupe and we're gonna garnish it with a pendant leaves. And there we go, my friends. This is how we make this delicious riff on the Hotel Nacional. Now, let's give it a try.
Mm. I really love where the pandan liquor takes this cocktail. It is the star of the show and all the flavors are in perfect harmony. You know, people call the pandan the South Asia vanilla because there's kind of a vanilla flair to it. And we all know vanilla, rum and pineapple is a match made in heaven. So here, no wonder it works marvelously. Then the spiciness and herbaceousness of the liqueur adds complexity. And because of the maize, the cinnamon, the clove, it also goes really well with rum and pineapple. So I really, really love this one. It also makes a cocktail that's completely different than the traditional Hotel Nacional, which if you don't know what it is, the exact same thing, but using apricot liqueur instead of our pandan liqueur. So I think it is very interesting to see how different we can make a cocktail by swapping only one ingredient. I don't know if this will inspire you for your own creation, but I can't wait to see what you guys are going to come up with. So guys, that's it for me today. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Hit the like and the bell if you want to be notified when we post a new cocktail video. Until then, thank you very much again. Have a great day and go get some Pandan. Cheers.